Do you own a K2 Plus and have been wondering how to mount the CFS on the side? Well, watch the video and I'm gonna show you how because I figured it out and it was way more simple than I thought. So I came back here and I realized that there's two reinforced screw holes on the back of the CFS. And then I'm looking here and I'm noticing that I'm pretty sure these are the same distance. And I think we can put this hub back there and that'll make it so that this short plug that causes it so you can't mount it to the side is now accessible. So we're gonna do that right now. So if my suspicion is correct, this is going to be able to fit perfectly in there. Okay, so if I suspect this correctly, I can put this here and then this and this just go right there. We can actually make a shorter one. And then we use a longer one for, oh my gosh, this is totally gonna work. I was literally just messing around with stuff, just trying to look. And I noticed that there was a possibility that this went in here. And lo and behold, I was correct. Wow, okay. Yeah, so now this can just go in here. And now this, well, I guess we want a bigger one if we wanna put this to the side. But now we have all of this room because this goes here. Oh my gosh, okay. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and switch all these Bowden tubes around and make sure that it's where I want it to be and then I'll show you with it next to the machine. And there we go, we have it mounted to the side. It's all hooked up, it's running. It's back there, it's going inside. I, I can't believe this isn't in the instructions, but there it is, so. Here it is. That's how you get it to mount on the side if you guys are wondering. And if you guys wanna find tips like this, especially with the K2 Plus, cause I am really testing this thing to the limits. Give me a like, give me a follow. I'm basically Ben Ski and Mistakes Make Magic, baby.